Hi guys, Ronnie here. If you are a serious cyclist and use a power meter for your training, then you probably use some kind of a performance management application or software uh, to guide you through that training. The most important aspect of this are the fitness and freshness numbers. This uh, takes into account the training load and the intensity that you have been subjecting yourself to and calculates your form. So this way uh, you can know when to taper for races, when to press hard in the training and what your strengths and weaknesses are based on your maximum power cur curve or your critical power curve. Now these settings uh, can be found on the Strava Premium. I'm sure many of you use that and I've been using this with great effect myself. But the problem I have found these fitness and freshness numbers that they don't really include the amount of stress you get from your daily life. So I also go to university and I also work in my own company and that can sometimes be a bit overwhelming and my recovery isn't that great uh, based on this. And yeah, these regular programs just don't take that into account and they assume that you're a professional athlete who basically doesn't have to do anything else than training and recovering from the training uh, he's done. In order to get this kind of dynamic performance evaluation, you obviously need a specialized kind of software. Luckily, I have been invited to participate in development and testing of such software, which is called DPEC, and it's a web-based uh, software that you can access from anywhere without having to install it to your computer. Of course, it has all the classic training stress and other metrics that you would expect in a training tool, but after every workout you upload, you can specify the amount of stress you've had on your daily life that day and the quality of the recovery you've had. This way, the program calculates uh, the so-called dynamic performance metrics so it's the fitness, freshness value, your fatigue and form. Plus, it takes into account the outside stress you get. It also calculates your dynamic FTP and maximum aerobic power plus maximum sprint power. Again, these are reduced by the amount of the outside stress factors that you include in your data. Of course, as with any analysis software, the larger data pool we have on there the better calculations you get. So luckily, uh, the Deepak app is now compatible with all FIT files, so you can upload them straight from your Garmin, your SRM, Wahoo, whatever computer that supports the FIT files. Plus, it now has a function that imports all of your previous data from Strava, which is a, quite a lot in my case because I upload every ride on there uh, in the last two years. So this way I've got a huge data pool automatically downloaded to the Deepak app and from now on every workout I upload I can specify the amount of recovery and outside stress that I've had uh, during my training period. Naturally you also get your standard tr uh, training tools such as your critical power curve, your training log, your power rec records but it also has another very unique feature today and that is the virtual coach. This part of the software analyzes your previous workouts and of course your dynamic uh, fitness metrics and after this uh, it re recommends what your next workout should be based on your goals. And I've been using this to choose my Strava workouts or sorry my Zwift workouts in the last couple of months and I have to say I've made very good progress so I can only recommend using this feature. It's excellent for people who don't really have a coach and are not really sure uh, what are they doing with their training even though they have a power meter. This way they get uh, some professional guidance based on the data they input into the analysis software. If you like to use this kind of software in order to improve the effectiveness of your training then just follow the link I give in the, in the video description down below and there you'll find everything you need 
uh, to get started. Now, if you'd like to know more about my training and preparation, or perhaps uh, the ways I make my bikes faster, then don't forget to tune into my channel and subscribe. It's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.